Yeah, um, it's always bittersweet, you know, uh, you know, going against your, you know, old team. It's been a long time there, so it was a lot of fun, though. As a defense, uh, you know, you guys finally held a team under 100. Was there a lot significant sign of improvement or just kind of with them not having Booker? What was your take on that, the defense against Phoenix? Um, you know, being able to, uh, you know, hold a team under 100 is, you know, you should be able to win, you know, at, at that rate. But um, honestly, with with them not having Booker and us getting better, you know, it was just kind of a storm that kind of came all together perfectly. But are you seeing signs of improvement? Of course, every every game, every quarter, every half, you know, we're definitely getting better. Our communication is getting better. Our knowledge of each other is getting better. Um, you know, it's times where we're kind of just out there and you, you kind of just feel the guy. You know, you hear the guy. You know, come in and you know we have to switch that. You know, you have to sh uh, shade or something like that. How do you like the role you've carved out for yourself, kind of in the rotation early on this season? I love it. Um, you know, it's uh, it's right up my alley. You know, uh, go out, guard the best guy on the court, um, do the dirty work, help uh, make life easier. You know, for everyone else. Patty called you the, the grit guy. <laughs> Pretty fair oh, I love it. Um, you know, whatever you know, nickname you want to give me besides uh, soft. <laughs> <laughs> Anything but that. <laughs> what about just the general uh, transition defense, especially as the league has kind of picked up pace? How would you guys see your improvement in that area? So far? We we have to get better at that. We have to um, continue to communicate and learn that. You know, we in, in transition, we don't have a man. You know, you got to kind of get back and pick up whoever's closest to you, even if a guard has to pick up a big. Um, you just have to be, you know, knowledgeable of situations like that. You know, if, if Patty or Brandon gets back and they have a, you know, bigger person, we have to kind of shade a little bit more to them or, you know, just, just be on heightened awareness, you know, for situations like that. A team like New Orleans, who last year played at the highest pace in the league, and this year they're right up there again. Mm -hmm. uh, do you think you can kind of play at the pace you guys want to play at, or do you think it's going to be something like what we've seen here through the first couple of weeks of the season? You know, we can definitely control the, the tempo um, by now allo not allowing them to get out in transition, like you said, um, not allowing them to have open threes. You know, they, they like to get up and go. They have a quick offense. I remember that really well. Um, they're almost like a track team. You know, get it out. Whoever gets it pushes it and goes.